North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences is a remarkable place, 134 years young, asking and answering the questions of what do we know? How do we know? What's happening now? And how do I get involved? The laboratories here at the Nature Research Center are fantastic and they're, they're publicly viewable glass-walled laboratories with bona fide researchers doing fantastic cutting-edge research. Uh, we have a lot of collaborative work going on between the museum researchers and university scientists and students uh, and again in communication and full view of the public where they can come in and see this stuff happening right in front of their eyes. The museum's laboratories have really become a model for these kinds of collaborations. It's, it's a very special venue for which these researchers can work and, and communicate with the public and bring science really to the forefront of, of outreach and education. It's really, really cool. Our interactive video conferencing programs are very unique in that we send the materials to the class to make it even more interactive so we're not just a talking head in the box. So we have over 2,500 animals here at the museum and we are able to use those animals in our program so we can convey points like uh, mimicry and camouflage by showing them the actual animal, which is really cool. So we do that both on site with our curiosity classes or our public programs such as Meet the Animals, and we do that via distance learning. So it's really cool. It bridges the gap between research and education. Well, the museum is open from 5 to 9 every Thursday night. We have science cafes all month long. Our science cafes are uh, videotaped and they're live streamed and so people can see them long after the actual event. Uh, the other things that we do in our building on Thursday nights is that we have classes that we offer families. We, they range from electronics classes to learning about different kinds of animals using artifacts from our, our collections. Science trivia is another thing that we do that's very popular. We, have, uh, we definitely have group science trivia groupies that come to the museum. So we have something for everybody here. Uh, if you're a museum professional or if you're just somebody that's a general visitor. In one wing we have the sort of grand old museum that you, you imagine from your childhood where we have these walk-through dioramas, lots of animals, taxidermy, live animals. But if you have a taste for the new, for the cutting edge, the new facility that we just created is just chock-a-block with high technology exhibits, digital technology. Its uh, cornerstone is the Daily Planet Theater, which is a three-story high, fully immersive space that surrounds you with digital images and, and sounds. Uh, we do live presentations in that space as well. We've had E.O. Wilson has actually done a, a town hall meeting in this space and we have about 50 titles that we show in there. They're visual poetry about nature, about science, about wonder and you can sort of just uh, take it at your own speed and watch beautiful images and beautiful quotes and thoughts and what really drives, what motivates us that work in the sciences. So we've got a beautiful state and a fabulous museum but what else is there to do in Raleigh? Well, if you like museums, we have a history museum, and it's right next door. You can come down to City Market and grab some breakfast at Big Ed's, Donuts, Art Museum, Kids Museum. 
Is it art or is it a tree? Is it both? I want one of these. Take a walk through our prairies. At the state fair, you can win a stuffed animal and get it fried. We've got world-class golf courses within sight of downtown. We've got fresh produce from around the state here at the farmer's market, and every Wednesday it comes downtown. How do you like them apples? I mean, there's whatever type of restaurant you'd want. There's five-star restaurants, there's two-star restaurants. Tell me one of your favorite restaurants. Capital Club 16. So many. There, yeah. There's, there's a lot of good restaurants here, a lot of good local food. The Asian dining down at Zenda's. Do you like barbecue? Are we in North Carolina? <laughs> yeah. You want barbecue? We got barbecue. Cooper's, The Pit. We still Old like time barbecue's been here for a hundred years. His daddy started it. That's a big acorn, but you should see the squirrel. We've got local breweries like Crank Arm, Flying Saucer. The Trolley Pub is a pub on wheels. Yeah, pedaled wheels. We've got a chocolate factory. You can take a Segway tour of downtown. Our line is free and circulates all around the downtown area. You think people are nice? Oh, I yeah. Southern yeah, people are that. so nice. <laughs> people are, you know, they'll walk up and they're friendly to you. Very friendly. Um, lots of y'alls. We're in the South. Everyone yeah. here is so yeah. nice. They're so welcoming. They're, they're cool. nice. They're real loving and caring. There's a pretty good variety of people here. You know, you're going to meet all walks of life. What do you think of the dogs here in Raleigh? No need to walk everywhere when we've got rickshaws. Just like New York, we have a subway. We've got theater and ballet, musicals. So it may not be the biggest city, but no matter where you come from, we think you'll find a world of possibilities right here in Raleigh. We look forward to being your host for Aztec 2014.